Welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Knowing about rapid weight loss in older women, what does the heart say? Unexplained rapid weight loss in older people could be a sign of underlying disease and can be linked with increased risk of falls and fractures, as well as poorer long-term prognosis. The understanding of factors that could contribute to rapid weight loss remains poor, with current treatment including correction, suboptimal, dietary and physical activity behaviors. New research by Edith Cowan University postdoctoral research fellow Dr. Cassandra Smith noted that abdominal aortic calcification donated by A. AC, a marker of advanced blood vessel disease, was linked to higher risk of rapid weight loss in the 929 older women who participated in the study. Rapid weight loss is defined as a more than 5% decrease in body weight within any 12-month interval over 5 years of observation. Rapid weight loss when it occurs in older women can be a sign of bad things to come such as early institutionalization, cognitive decline, Alzheimer's disease and pose a higher risk for falls and fracture, Dr. Smith said. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Choice of skin disinfectant by surgeons impact infection risk, says a Canadian-American study. Does the type of solution used by surgeons to disinfect skin before surgery impact the risk of surgical site infection? According to a new research from the international trial jointly led by McMaster University and the University of Maryland School of Medicine, yes it does. Researchers of the prepared trial which enrolled nearly 8,500 participants in the 25 hospitals in Canada and the United States found the use of iodine provacaralex in alcohol to disinfect a patient's skin could prevent surgical site infection in thousands of patients patients undergoing surgery for a close fracture each year. The findings, published on February 1, 2024 in the New England Journal of Medicine, are poised to have many hospitals consider a policy change to use of iodine, povacrylex and alcohol for fracture surgeries. This trial represents a highly successful collaboration between McMaster University, the University of Maryland School of Medicine and 25 trauma centers across Canada and the United States. This multi-center approach allowed us to quickly and efficiently address an important clinical research question that will lead to the prevention of thousands of infection each year. Importantly, a collaboration will continue to grow to address other unanswered questions in orthopedic trauma surgery, says Sheila Spro, Group Principal Investigator of the Trial and an Associate Professor in the Department of Surgery at McMaster. How old is dementia? Did it exist in ancient Greek and Rome? You might think age-related dementia has been with us all along, stretching back to the ancient world. But a new analysis of classical Greek and Roman medical texts suggests that the severe memory loss occurring at epidemic level today was extremely rare 2000 to 2500 years ago in the time of Aristotle, Galen and Pliny the Elder. The USC-led research published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease blosters the idea of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias at diseases of modern environments and lifestyle, with sedentary behavior and exposure to air pollution largely to blame. The ancient Greeks had very, very few, but we found them, mentions of something that would be like a mild cognitive impairment, said first author Caleb Finch, a university professor at the USC Leonard Davis School of Gerontology. When we got to the Romans and we uncovered at least four statements that suggest rare cases of advanced dementia, we can't tell if it's Alzheimer's, so there was a progression going from the ancient Greek to the Romans. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.